Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh, I'm not looking in the camera. This is weird. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. Um, we're usually having fun and repotting things and unboxing plants and doing a bunch of cool stuff with plants, but today is not that day. I recently have been getting quite a few plants in and uh, the stupid plant parent that I am, I have not been quarantining them when I bring them in. Um, I've just been putting them in their spot and letting them do their thing for a while before I repot them. And I have thrips. <laughs> it sounds like I'm like telling you that I have a disease. My plants have thrips. Um, a lot of them have thrips. I have been struggling with it for a few weeks now. It just started on one of my Monstera and it's gotten way worse since. So uh, today's video is gonna be a little bit of a vlog of me just like dealing with that. Um, I have a plant talk with Logan Instagram account and I went on there and I said, help, please help me get rid of these because I've been doing the um, dish soap, um, uh, the dish soap alcohol water spray and it's not doing its job. Um, so some people were like, um, you need to buy the dead Captain Jack's dead bug spray and then the Bonide um, insecticide crystals that go in the soil because thrips, I believe they burrow in the leaves and they burrow in the soil as well. So they're really hard to get rid of and they're just awful and they've been slowly killing some of my plants. So I last night went around and wiped off most of my plants. I have to get the rest of them today with the alcohol spray. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the spray on the leaves and then I had to order from Amazon. I had to order the Bonide um, insecticide crystals to go in the soil. So I'm gonna deal with that at a later date. But everyone says that that's helped a lot and they quarantined their plants and they were fine. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and let's play and talk. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Okay, hey, I'm back. So over here, as you can see, this area on my kitchen cart and like on the floor here and those are all safe. Uh, last night I checked them all over for thrips um, in the soil and on the leaves, I wiped them all down. Oh, my Christmas lights. <laughs> um, I wiped them, oh, I wiped them all down and they're fine. So these are good, these are good. I have to finish checking these um, up here. And these, this is, I think, the plant that started it all. Um, as you can see, look at that wonderful damage. We'll get into that later, but um, I have to check these, that, um, and then all these up here as well. So I'm gonna be doing that. Um, then last night when I was checking everything out, all of these, are danger plants. So the, I've either found something on them um, or I've been dealing with it on them. Um, honestly, the Raphidophora crawling up the wall is fine. That one just, um, <laughs> I can't move it. It's stuck to the wall. So it's staying like that. But this Monstera and this Monstera are so bad and I cannot, like I can't even imagine losing this plant. <sighs> so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna tackle that today. So the one thing that I ordered was, well, I didn't order it. I went to the local garden center for it, but Captain Jack's dead bug. Um, everyone says that this works really well. This is a concentrate, so I need to mix this with some water. This was very expensive. It was like 20 something dollars, but they didn't have the one that wasn't a concentrate. So I had to get this one. Um, I'm gonna go around and spray everyone with that. Even if they have thrip or not, I'm still gonna spray it with it because I just need to take care of all this crap. It's so bad. But at least all these guys are okay. Hi, pretty. Okay. So we're gonna water it. I put some fertilizer in the soil because I did just cut this plant back and it's growing a bunch. I sold some cuttings. I sold some, I've sold so many cuttings from this plant. And I have potted up so many cuttings into this pot of this plant. It's like crazy how fast this thing grows. And look how freaking pretty it is. It's literally blue. I kind of want to grow it up a pole because I want the leaves to get big and get fenestrations. But I have so many fucking moss poles now. It's like, 
It's kind of ruining the aesthetic of the place, if you know what I mean. Okay, we'll give it a little bit more. Because it's not running out of the drainage holes yet. Okay, now it's dripping. Great. So, let that soak in a little bit more. And then I'm going to grab some paper towel. And I've been spraying it on the leaves and I've been spraying it directly on the paper towel. I don't know which is better. Um, I don't use a recipe for this either. Um, as you can see, it's kind of blue because I use Dawn dish soap. Um, that seems to work the best for me. I, um, I know that Dawn is like powerful, but it's also gentle. So I use that. And then I, it's a really tiny like Ikea sprayer. So I'd literally just do like a few drops of Dawn and then I do, I fill it up to like here with alcohol because I'm not messing around right now. I try not to get it into the soil a lot because I know that's not good for the plant necessarily. And then I just fill the rest of it up with water. And then this usually works really good for spider mites and everything, but clearly it doesn't work for thrips. But since we're checking everybody over, I'm just doing that. So I'm gonna wipe this down and I'll be right back. <laughs> it's a little bit later now and my hair's all messed up. Uh, I took my hat off. But um, I have a mask on because I'm using the spray now and I have an N95 filter in this mask. So I'm hoping it's getting a little bit of the shit out if I'm breathing anything in. But it's going well. I'm spraying all my plants and uh, all the ones that are affected and I'm going to leave them I think overnight here. Um, and all the ones over here, I'm going to put all these in the tub and spray them. These are the ones that are safe. I'm just going to give them a little bit of a spray. Um, and we're gonna go from there. So just checking in, things are going good. It's me again. I just finished spraying my plants with all of the dead bug solution. So I'm gonna start to slowly put them back. Um, the ones that are safe, I'm gonna keep in a similar area and the ones that are affected, I'm gonna keep in a similar area. Um, let me just flip here. All of the, I'm watching Home Alone. <laughs> all the affected plants are gonna be like in this general area. Um, just cause I know that they're in recovery and then all my safe stuff is going to go over here and I'm going to keep some on the, um, kitchen cart for now. Um, but fingers crossed that this really does the trick. Um, I'm not going to film myself putting the granules in the plants, but those are going to be in there too. I finally finished spraying each plant down and I have them back, um, in little categories and I put up my Christmas lights. <laughs> Um, so we have some little safe areas, some areas with plants that were infected, all near each other. Um, I don't have room in my studio apartment, so I had to make do, but now it's time to clean up. Yikes. I will probably follow up on my Instagram story. Um, if you want to follow me there, follow this annoying process with me there. This is taking me so long and I went through a roll and a half of paper towel just trying to figure all this out. So <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe if you want, leave a comment if you want. And if you had any sort of other luck using anything else um, besides the products that I've been using, please let me know in the comments. I am desperate at this point and I just need to get these bugs under control. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.